This HAN Network video is brought to you by Innovative Health and Rehabilitation. Let's talk track and field here at Stanford High School. I'm Rob Adams on the HAN Network with the members of the boys track and field team, but I'm going to let them introduce themselves. I'll start right here. Who are you? Uh, how's it going? Um, I'm Gilmar Barrios. I'm Azza, the head coach. And I'm Oscar Morales. Coach, you were telling me before we started, this is uh, a new gig for you, new situation. Tell me uh, what you're thinking as you get lined up for the season. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's it's a new gig for me, but I ran the girls' programs for eight years. Um, I didn't coach last year, and now I'm moving into the boys this year. So um, really, my goals here are to establish uh, a well-functioning team and to really build on the, on the talent that we have already here. And we have some good talent carrying over from last year, so I'm actually pretty excited walking into this situation. How good is this talent? What are we going to see from the Black Knights? I hit some milestones in cross country last season. Uh, I'm really hoping to go to nationals this year. I'm only six seconds off. Um, as a team aspect, uh, I want to win a couple meets, uh, beat a couple schools. And I think that's the goal one for us. How do you shave six seconds off such a thing? Uh, well, when it comes down to those fast times, it's all about the simple things. Uh, well, it comes down to what you eat, uh, you know, get, getting enough sleep, uh, you know, and training hard and running easy on the easy days. Um, that's what I have in mind. So, yeah. Let's hope he shakes, shaves those six seconds off. Down to Oscar we go. And what are we going to expect to see from you on track and field this year? Well, I had an injury last year, so hopefully I stay healthy this year and I break some of my times and just stay focused and stay dedicated to this team. Coach, uh, you know, you, you mentioned coaching the girls' squad. Now you're with the boys. You know, are there differences, different, you know, uh, different things that they're going to do? And, and, you know, never mind just coaching girls versus boys, but differences as a, as a track and field program, girls versus boys. Yeah, um, absolutely. You know, kind of jokingly, the girls probably listen a little better than the boys do. <laughs> um, but no, I'm, I'm, I'm just kidding there. You know, different strengths. I know with the boys we have a pretty strong distance program compared to what there was with the girls. Uh, the girls had um, a lot more history with doing field events and that's something that I have to really foster and build with this boys team to make us more of a well-rounded team. So I mean there's there's different challenges but at the same time you know, they're all high school athletes, they're all good kids, and I would be excited working with boys, girls, it doesn't matter. What kind of team is this? You know, is it a good group? You like everybody you're with? Uh, yeah, we've, we've been running with each other for a long time. Uh, we're friends. Uh, we also have a Facebook group. We always communicate on that. We have social media accounts, um, well, Facebook, and then we just uh, talk to each other on Instagram and then inform each other about upcoming meets, banquets, all that fun stuff. He didn't say anything about Snapchat. I thought that was all the rage. He says, I, I lose track. You know, these things happen. Oscar, you ready to go? I mean, this it seems like it's a good group. You all set for a big season? I'm ready. I'm pumped for the season. All right. We wish you a lot of luck. Coach, this year seems like a good group. You got a couple of good guys with you here. The boys track and field team at Stanford High School. Very nice to meet up with them right here on the HAN Network.